Hi, I'm going to dimension this pump uh, to see how much power I'm going to use to pump uh, from 0 0.5 meters below the pump and up to this tank here. The tank is uh, 15 cubic meters and uh, it has to be filled in one hour. Uh, and the inlet pressure here is one atmosphere and the pipe is two inch and made of carbon steel. Um, so let's do it. I'll use DW SIM to solve this exercise. Um, we are going to use water. That's our only compound and uh, we are going to use steam tables. Um, and I am going to use C5 with Celsius, kilo per hour, cubic meters per hour and so on. Okay, I'll add a stream here um, and we know we have to we have a flow of uh, 15 cubic meters per hour. So, and um, now we can add a pipe segment. And the f first part of our uh, pipe is the 0 0.5 meters and we have carbon steel. and the pipe was going uh, vertical up and we had two inch pipe. So, oh, we have to add it. Yes. Now we'll add a pump. Um, and uh, we are going to have a separate uh, energy stream. So I'll break that one and add separate one here. So we are now here. So I'm going to add the two meters, the hundred meters, the five meters and the four and the two meters segments. Um, we have the pipe segment here. And that was uh, carbon steel. And that was two meters, zero meters in elevation and uh, the two inch tube. We can now add the next segment also carbon steel that was 100 meters of tube and the elevation was 30 meters. We have the two inch. Now we're going to add the four meters. We are up here. We have oh, the five meters. Sorry. Good with that drawing here. Um, we're going to add the five meters carbon steel, zero meters in elevation and the two inch pipe. So we're going to add the four meters vertical. And two inch pipe and the last two meters. So we can have a quick view. Is it looking okay? Going from zero to 30, 30 meters, yes. That's okay. Um, 
to the first segment here, we have an uh, inlet and we have an outlet to the last one. So we are going to add an inlet here also, also um, because they are also causing a pressure drop. Um, we have a normal inlet. We're going to use the two inch and the carbon steel modified and we're going to add an outlet carbon steel oh normal exit and two inch so can solve it um Okay, they have a negative pressure, but we still not quite there. We are having some elbows, 290 degrees here, and I estimate these two to be about 45 degrees. So I'll add them as a segment. Here we are going to have two of them still carbon steel and um, elbows 45 degrees 2 inch pipe and 90 degrees elbows oh we had two of them carbon steel So, um, I think that's it. Uh, we have a negative pressure, so we don't have any pressure increase yet. Um, we're going three meters or 30 meters upwards, so that's about three bar. We can try with that. That didn't do it. Four, four did it. Okay, so um, um, we are going to add a tank here. There it is, and it is 15 cubic meters, and it is filled in about an hour, so the flow is correct. Um, but we only have uh, 0.57 bars uh, at the tank and we are going to have uh, one atmosphere. So I'm going to add a, a logical block, a controller block, that's just the easy way just so I don't have to adjust it uh, by myself. Um, the manipulated uh, object is uh, the pump. It has number six here. And, uh, it's the pressure head, the four bars here. The control object is, uh, is the flow stream 11 and um, it's the pressure we want to adjust and that is 1.013 equal to one bar. So let's look how that's going to be yes 1.013 and we can see we are going to, uh, to use 2.39 kilowatts to our pump with an efficiency of 60 or 75 percent uh, and it is going to have a pressure increase of about 4.3 bar um, so that's it. Um, if we have uh, an actual pump, uh, we can put in our performance curves. That be uh, the head, power efficiency, or NPSH, um, and uh, then we can uh, tune our pump uh, this way. Okay. Thank you for being with me in this uh, tutorial.
Bye.